science of cooking opened my mind to so many new and different ideas that I hadn't explored before, but that have been right in front of me my whole life. And it was an experience I really loved. We had people from all different backgrounds applied. There were science concentrators, there were humanities people, there were people who had never fried an egg. I mean, there are people who don't even know how to make toast. So every, every Tuesday we'd have a guest lecturer. They'd be a chef. Uh, most of them were from Spain and some were from the United States. But these are, these are some of the top chefs in the world. And then on Thursday, we'd take the same topic, but the scientists would go at it. We had Professor Brenner and Professor Waits. And to get to know them was also fantastic. And then going into lab on Friday and taking what we had learned, taking equations, taking numbers, and putting that together with, with food ingredients and coming out with something edible in the end was, I mean, shouldn't it be quite as surprising perhaps, but it was incredibly surprising because I always felt like cooking was luck. The final project for the class was a science fair where we were kind of given not very specific instructions, but we were told to work on a project of our choice. These type of classes where you're pulling these great lecturers, the best chefs in the world, you're pulling them in uh, and you're combining them with some of the greatest scientists in their field and having them explain things to undergraduates. I mean, that, that's something that, uh, that you really only get at Harvard and that was one of the things that drew me.